Hi, I'm Skyler. If you'd like to reset Safari on your iPhone, there are a couple different things you can do. First of all, you can force quit the application. To do this, you press your home button twice, rest your finger on the app, and tap the red circle that appears. The app's just been force quit. If you were to shut your iPod down now, so to uh, effectively power cycle it, that's the technical term, it also clears out a lot of caches. But there's stuff that can be left behind. So go into Settings, scroll down, oops, tap Safari, and you'll see some of the settings here. So from here, you can clear history, clear cookies and data. This clears a whole lot of different things. So data that can be used for tracking, but it's also used by a website to preserve login information and to speed up browsing. It'll also close all open pages, so be forewarned. There are a few other advanced settings down here. And if you go into Advanced and Website Data, you can look specifically at what's being stored on your iPhone. So Google has put four megabytes of stuff in there, which seems like a lot. There you go. That's how to reset Safari on an iPod, iPhone, or iPad. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.